Happy Tuesday, it's a Happy Tuesday, it's the best day in Maryland, it's 2-1-2-2. Two, two, two. We're coming by with the crew, the crew roll, 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 the crew roll, roll. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, stuff. Yeah, it's pretty much as, uh... Yeah, let's just say... How did you eat? I got seven months of this class now. Listen up. Okay, we're getting back to the ballistics here. We're business. We're back in business and business is booming. So, first of all, good morning. What's up, what's up? I'll be a little good. Stay fly. So for real, right. I got a, a start on my little list, so now this isn't going to be a video on health or even nutrition really. You know, we went over all that stuff quickly, you know. Why do you think those uh, videos I made previously, I put them out there so I can keep repeating myself and repeating myself and repeating myself and repeating myself. And repeating myself. And for all y'all, I love y'all, and if I have to, I will. But what's one thing that I've always I just do not like doing? Ever since I was little. You can guess it. Repeating myself. But I told you a million times. I'm ready. Whatever it may be. No, I didn't do it. Yes, I forgive you. Yes, you. Uh, I love you. Yes, you're my one and only. Yes, you're my wife. Yes, I love being a father. Yes, I love this world. Yes, I'm a happy guy. Yes, I'm happy. Yes, I'm a... Uh, I know what I'm doing. Yes, 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 I love you. Yes, yes, God is awesome. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm a good person. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, 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 I love this. I love you. I love everybody. Yes. Sometimes it's not. No, I don't do drugs. No. I'm not a bad guy. No, I'm not a criminal. All that same stuff. Pet beef, there you go. Some pet beef for you. That being too lazy. Laziness. Like a guy goes with the seven deadly sins and stuff. I'm not getting into that right now. There's a big chill video. Not sure I'm not getting into that too religious stuff. And I'm not going to get too much into the uh, fitness and nutrition and stuff. Because once again, why do you think I've made those videos in the past that are plus 15 minutes? Even if they aren't, I, I can knock it out real quick. Or I can make it longer extended than how it happened. So you can rewatch them if you have to. Or, you know, if it pops your head and I thought, who helped me out of this? Oh, my boy, my favorite personal trainer, my favorite entrepreneur, Mr. Q27, almost 28 year old, uh, Mr. Samuel Israel, Jacob Dutchman. College graduate, certified first aid and health and fit. He knows what he's talking about. He's educated. He went to Salisbury, AACC, and Towson. He's also a United States Marine Corps veteran. He knows what he's talking about. He got out of work on, uh, to a sergeant, E5. Uh, he's also a good man of God. Heck yeah. Went to St. James Francis. Graduated from Northeast High School. Played varsity sports. A good friend. A good person. Inside and out. Uh, a good father. A good husband. A lover. And he's also got some soul, a lot of music, and all that good stuff. So it's good. So, you know. Your source is good. For this class, that because education, and working on relationships, and all that stuff never ends. Let's go to that part of it. So that's ultimately what I would like to discuss. I did it real quick. This morning, I was just uh, doing my own thing. Doing my, uh, on hour, 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 Bible study, put on the preaching, whatever, not preaching, I hate that word, I hate it, it's alright, or do, I hate with my peoples, I'm on the live and whatnot, they got me connected, always, I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. And I put on some music and listen to some headphones or whatever I use. You know, I got some Bluetooth for my brand headphones. Uh, it's something where I can just plug it in the old, our, our trusty laptop and I can listen to music on that. So, dude, that's also part of my meditation and that's what I do personally. So if you want to, write down notes. 
you can meet up with that. And you can type in anything. You can type in meditation sounds, nature sounds, I like Native American and Cherokee sounds, helps me relax and breathe and whatnot, etc. Um, you can type in old songs from the 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever songs. If you forget the exact name of the song for you oldies or whatever, whoever you are, I do too. You can type in Google, hey, what song goes like da 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 the, uh, you know, actually type it in Google and you can and then it Google will tell you a bunch of options or is also what that song may be. And then you can go ahead and put that in YouTube and YouTube as like everything and you can listen to songs there. And you can then from there, for whoever that artist is, you can start listening to their albums and etc. And that goes to any uh, family member or anybody out there, uh, no matter age, whatever color, what's one thing that God gives us about music. And you can do that, and that also helps you bring back, uh, pops, shocks the brain, the spirit, the chemistry, the whole body, and, uh, the body, there you go, and you can get, uh, recollect memories, friends, and all that good stuff, more than just, I mean, if you got pictures and all that stuff, that's cool too, of course, I always get memories frozen in time, right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> but you can, I'm sorry, I do that when I'm excited, uh, but you can, that's a way of doing it too, man, so you can plug it in, you can use you know, my Pink Ranger headphones, my wifey's right there, she got that one, uh, for, you know, for little birthday presents and stuff, I got a, a, a wireless one, so I'm about to get some new running shoes and new kicks and whatnot from the wife, you know, uh, my, uh, my Buenonita Señorita, the one who wants to get that puppy, um, what else, uh, yeah, I got a green pair too, of the headphones, you know, I got like a, you know, for the Green Ranger, White Ranger, and a Pink Ranger, Big headphones, it's hers and whatnot. We share everything, with besties. And that goes to this, which um, also is part of the meditation therapy. You can plug it right in there. Well, you can play it out loud, but not in the morning and whatnot. But right now it's almost eight. You can put in your headphones, and that's why I always use headphones. Um, a lot, you know, not always, but a lot. Even when I'm painting or um, out by the pool or working, you know, you can whether it be wired or the wireless, that don't matter really. Everybody has their stuff, and you can uh, listen to whatever. And like I said, that brings back a lot of good memories from whatever it may be. From uh, elementary school, from middle school days, from friends, from people. That's why another reason I would say, besides God and just me having a good memory, um, of uh, having a good memory, music, and stories, and whatnot. Yeah. And so as I do this, uh, um, my, my class for. Uh, the 144 kingdom marriages um that me and my wife are doing um let me look right here uh Sabrita. Uh, you can call me mr samuel jacob Duncha. and she's mrs samuel jacob Duncha. or mr samuel israel david Duncha, and mrs samuel israel david Duncha. however you want to do it so i started my little notepad of just stuff it's definitely not part of this, like a therapy thing, but I guess you could use the word therapeutic. Therapy's never been my forte, you know, I never really needed that. My therapy has always been myself, really, and you know, love, and let's just say I, I wasn't ever, the root it was never in me, the root of the problem. The root of David was, the light and whatnot. If it goes to Yin Gang, uh, you know, she don't tell her shit, but she can be the negative part of it. The yang part, and I'm the yin part, which is the good, positive, and the ray, the ray, to Kylo Ren, if you will, Star Wars style. Hey, but we can switch roles as well. It's all good. I'm the honey boo bear. You. I got you, honey boo bear. I had a dream. Um, well, it was more of a dream, a vision of a girl. Uh, she had a prayer. And I guess it was the most beautiful, it was the most beautiful prayer ever. And she was up at like, she was just like really praying to God. And I guess God talked to her in some way, but I, I heard it though. Um, you know, I guess God, God wanted me to hear it as well, because I'm like a, a, a anointed one, I guess, you know, a chosen one, one of his sons and whatnot. We all are God's people, but I'm pretty, you know, when I say man of God, obviously. I am, so and this is about to prove it once again, in case for you uh, non-believers. It was a woman's voice, and she was praying, and she was praying to God, and was, she was saying, God, you asked me to look up at, at the stars, keep my head up, and, you know, have a, come up with a name for the stars, and just 
the galaxies and the beautiful stuff out there, space, the universe, and the word to describe it. And she said, she said, and I would say perfect, just like you. And then, like, I started tearing up tears of joy because it was so freaking beautiful. And then I had, like, a vision of what she, like, looked like. It was, like, a really beautiful, tan, brown-haired girl. A woman around my age, and gorgeous, and so that shows, of course, gorgeous inside and out, probably from the tribes of Israel and whatnot, et cetera, Zion, and I got that, and then I woke up, and uh, long story short, I was ready to get the day started, you know, uh, and then uh, I listened to some music and whatnot, and that's how that went, you know, I watched the ending of, this, and then maybe you think of the movie Dear John, kind of, it's a good movie. One of our favorites, romantic movie, Dear John. I can put a link up, you know. And, uh, and then uh, I saw I've really on here for when I start that class, which is in a couple of days, uh, which is uh, the 144 Arcana Marriages classes, which is just uh, sharing this lovely, beautiful stuff. It's no in way like uh, a job or like, a, you know, it's not like you have to do it, but it's a want. It's we want to do it, of course, because it's love. We already have uh, love, but we can always work on doing more love, and, you know, because it's fun. It's fun. It's fucking fun. Excuse my French. So, of course, I wrote, I'm glad. We love Nelly and Kelly Rowland, you know, but it's true. We met back in the day, back in, like, elementary school, middle school, they, uh, like elementary school pretty much, you know, St. Jane, St. Jane Francis, grade school, you know, with the uniform and whatnot, and we were youngins, uh, you know, to my kingdom life, um, and I wrote, you know, hashtag 144, wrote my stars, uh, you know, I wrote, uh, me wifey, my ride or die, the bay, you know, before anyone else, that's what bay means, from the city by the bay, as a name, or bagels, all that good stuff. And I wrote, you know, this is just before I actually start everything. But like I said, I'm gonna be really nonchalant and cool about it. Because it's, it lo once again, love and everything, relationships, family, being a kingdom husband, a kingdom father, being a family man, being myself, that's all come easy as heck, easy as heck to me. You know, so once again, I'm having fun with it. Just like when I work out, just like when I rap, just like when I just be myself, make food, do whatever, I have fun with it. It's it's fun, like the honor totem, you know, with life is just where it's like a playground in a uh, godly, lawful, beautiful, youthful way. This is fun as heck. Like, what's the dream I've always heard of me when I was little, like Aladdin, was to marry a, a princess, a queen, and I, we are married, and it's beautiful. So, I like that one, that's a good one. <sighs> I wrote, I'm glad I pulled up next to your bike, quote unquote, in middle school, elementary school. Smiley face. And it goes back to her songs like uh, One and Only by Nelly, and also Dilemma by Nelly and Kelly Rowland. And uh, there's another one by Kelly and Rowland and Nelly. Um, you know. I said, I was listening to, we like the cars that go boom, I've always loved, uh, I'm a hip hop baby, you know, busy bone, boom thugs, hip hop baby, cause I'm a hip hop baby, uh, well, not only the music of course, going back to the 90s, Grandmaster Flash, uh, the late 80s for that one, Public Enemy, again going up to of course, NWA, Bone Thugs and Harmony is my favorite, we all should know that by now, um, I, ne I you know, Wu Tang, I've never been too much into that. I'm the same ones I've been really into. But of course, I know all about them. Like, even the dudes who made the OPP song, which was religion as fuck, but at the time it was, oh, cool. Uh, Naughty by Nature, that's what they're called. They're all right. Uh, I like the real ones. Boys the Men, there we go. You know, R&B, uh, I like that, you know. Going back up to the Ushers, to the 50 Cents, to the G-Units, to the M&Ms, to the, uh, you know, Dr. Dre, and course, we all know about them, right? Um, to the Beyonce's, to the Jay-Z's, to the Kanye West, to the Little Wayne's, to the uh, Nelly and the Saint Lunatics, uh, you know, and then it got, it, we got, it, and then it goes up to more of the pop, adding pop, pop to it, like Pit, Pitbull, and then it goes to like the MGK's, I like MGK, and then they, he added some rock into it, like 182, um, style kind of music, uh, Good Charlotte, Maryland Boys, love Good Charlotte, the anthem. 
Uh, you know, then you got people who mix the reggae in it as well. You know, the Marlies and whatnot. Uh, and then okay, Kid Ink. I love Kid Ink. We've seen him live. We've seen Kid Ink, Nico and Vince, and uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony live. And Machine Gun Kelly. Um, it does uh, rave, raves as well. Let me get that back in like you know, younger. Long story short, and then I wrote, um, so I, and I've always been in the break dance scene. Like me and my, my, and my brother been in heaven. Um, but I've always loved break dancing. Like we used to have the talent shows. Um, I don't want to talk about the past too much, but it's awesome. I mean, that's part of this, like what I'm doing now. You can kind of get that routine. Um, of my videos lately, it's been a lot about like good memories and stuff like that, bringing back to up to the public, also for like the people now and generations to come. Um, break dancing, like I've always like at every dance and whatever, I was always the one. At one point in the dance, Sammy Dumpster was doing a break dance, and they all get in the huddle, the circle around me, and I'll break it out real quick, and everybody would freaking lose their shit, and I'll be like, damn, that kind of hurt, but it's fun. We're doing music class sometimes too. We do the I do the worm and all that good stuff. Of course, I can still do it. I don't, I'll do it every now and then. It's like historic. <laughs> like, I, I, would, I would, it really is. It's fucking, it's like one of those things that, like, you need to see it. And then when it's done, it's like another epic moment. You know, everybody has that. That's what it was, the break dancing. And it goes to, like, the hip hop culture and whatnot. I've always loved, uh, you know, I love Eddie Murphy if it goes back to the, co you know, melanated colored people. Uh, Chris Tucker, you know, Dave Chappelle's cool, he's funny, he's fu funny as shit. Little, little job. <laughs> my, my whole family's pretty much like that. Like, it's just, and that goes back to, you know, the roots and whatnot, right? And good stuff. Literally, the roots, uh, yeah. So then, uh, I'm gonna do that. I got some nice curly hair myself, tan skin, melanation, long eyelashes, brown eyes myself. Just saying, you know. I don't want to get too much into the DNA stuff. I've, I've already made a whole video about that. So I said I gotta work. So I pretty much I wrote. Also, I gotta work on my in a fun way. I gotta work on uh, my hopscotch classes and my and the next double dutch. I gotta work on my double dutch. Uh, it doesn't have to be literally, like I got a jump rope for working out, but it was mostly just, I said that because uh, we're going to connect more with uh, that again. Well, not again, because I'm already pretty much just uh, doing it more. Yeah, just doing it more. Bring it. Just already got a lot of soul, but you can never, that's the beautiful thing about it. God and Jesus, you can never have too much of it, soul, whether it be gospel music or the fun part of, about it, like the double dutch and the hot statues or... You know, uh, just kind of going back to the days of being kids again. Like I said, I'm glad I pulled up next to your bike, quote unquote, middle elementary school. You know, this young Sammy Dumpshaw, curly haired, kind of skinny kid before I had muscles and whatnot, quiet. Well, <laughs> you know, not always quiet. Uh, he liked, you know, laughter and fun. And I liked it. What a kid's would be like, I don't, I don't want to get too much into that stuff. I don't want to get too, like, you know, I was, I was kind of, still kind of shy, as you can tell, even when I'm doing this stuff now, but in a good way. You know, that's another pet peeve. I hate annoying people. Like, when I get annoying, it's annoying in a good way. Because it's like, okay, he's being extra, like, everybody, like, everybody else shut up, finally, like, Kind of like they say Muhammad, like the prophet, like when he spoke, people listened. I guess it's kind of like that. I don't want to flip my own boat, though. My wife and God and Jesus can do that. My family, my loved ones. I love my sons, by the way. I love you so much, son. You already know it. Next month. How old are you going to be? Lucky number. Oh, yeah. My father's that, too. In the sibling order. And I'm number five as well in the sibling order. Siblings is your brothers and sisters. I'm number five out of seven. Two younger sisters. I'm the youngest boy. And the best of it. Skin. Don't hurt me. And then I said, ugh, and everything else is going pretty darn good. You know, um, I'll leave it at that. My girl, my girl Doja Cat won her Grammys finally, so I'm happy. Hashtag swag. Um, crap, you know, my birthday. You know, this Saturday is up. Everything's good. Anniversary month, baby. I'm going good. So, 
that's what that's all about. Um, stay connected to your roots. Uh, don't care what other people say, you know, everybody has their own likes, dislikes, hobbies, music, style, don't jock anybody's style, respect the drip, baby, love it, I would say, love being a loco, love it, um, God is, makes everybody beautiful in their own, in their own way, all of us, whether you be Jacob or Ethel, whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? Whether you have a big beard and oh, I'm a big red neck, you know, oh, I'm gonna go hunting. Or you like me, it's just like, what's up, baby? I'm gonna go double dutch and I'm gonna hang out with my boo things and I keep it cool in the 144 Ten Commandments. Y'all do my thing. You know? I'm gonna break dance and connect to my hip hop and music and roots and stuff like that. I'm gonna work on my double dutch and my, you know, uh, go back to field day at SJF. If you know what I'm saying, get some snowballs going, have some nice snowballs and have a good time, baby. You know? And then when I get some time, I'm always go back to my boys and my friends or my ladies or whatever. I'm going to go spit some rhymes. Uh, heavenly, in a good way, kick it with the boys on the corner, whatever that may be. Have lazy was rolling up the earth. <laughs> yeah, man. That bone thugs in harmony, by the way. Lazy bone, crazy bone, wishbone, flesh and bone, and busy bone. Yeah. Right there. E1999 Eternal. Best, one of the best albums ever. See you at the crossroads. That's our class song, too. Under the Sea. The dances and whatnot. I remember all that. The 2008 dances and all that. Coming to Hershey Park and all that good stuff, yo. The field trips and all that good stuff. What we do to this day with, uh, you know, our kids. You know, the aquarium, the zoos. We went to, you know, the scientific uh -huh. museums. The freaking, uh, the Hershey Park, the Six Flags. The races for education, you know, like good stuff, you know. I was doing that stuff with my broken arm one year. I think it was like seventh grade. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all go though. Keep doing your thing and keep up the good work. I'm getting messages and stuff already, you know. I'm sitting here trying to do my thing. I gotta start turning off my phone when I do this because people just annoy me with uh, unnecessary stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can't leave me alone. I'm trying to talk to y'all. Alright, I'll be back. I love y'all. See you later. I love you so much. More than life itself. Until the end of time. Don't miss away. Just kidding, I'll get it. Found it. Right here, baby. Grab it. Hold on to it forever.